Hello, <clears throat> this is Alice with The Witch in the Glen. Um, we are going to do a an energy reading with tarot cards. Um, I uh, stream primarily from the Divine Feminine energy and um, I am a star sign, sun sign Leo, um, moon, where did I put the cards? Put that, oh. <laughs> um, I was like, do I have to start over? Um, sun sign, Leo, moon, Scorpio, rising Sagittarius in Western um, astrology. Um, so some of my stuff comes through on those channels. And um, yeah, I um, don't, in these readings though, I do not, I'm not reading on my own energy. I'm reading on um, the energy of the collective and sometimes some stuff comes through that seems like it's more for me and I'll try to flag that but um I typically try to um withhold that stuff that is just just supposed to be for me um let's see okay this is sort of um this is some tough energy right out of the gate. So we have the Eight of Swords and the Five of Pentacles coming out. But then there's this um, Six six of Wands. Um, sorry, this incense is like right in my face. Um, <laughs> too much. Uh, let's do a bell. That'll help us. Like can't breathe. Um, which is okay. So here we are in this card. It's like this energy of like, you can't, you can't breathe the tide in this has gone out, but it, it, there's this implication that it could be rising back up and she could be subsumed by the water. Um, this is sort of a bound and you're just completely wound up in this, in your own, um, you've either been completely wound up by a, by a foe or you are wound up in your own um subconscious and your own shadow and here you sit vulnerable to the tide coming in and and then and then we have the five of pentacles which is which is the um locked out in the cold card it is a tragic <laughs> uh tragic card the and it looks a lot like something Charles Dickens would imagine. It's, um, there's, it's freezing. They're wearing scrap. These two figures are wearing scraps of clothing. They don't have shoes on. Um, and it's just like this. And the man is wearing this bell, which is sort of to symbolize like, just like this, the most minutest of like cries for help, um, here, like, like, um, music is usually like communication with God and here a bell is okay fast moving fast moving energy that's like not good um not good or it could be like a surprise um fat so something's coming in fast something is gonna change quickly um and it might change in this so it starts with the there's this so I'm gonna I'm gonna let spirit guide this because this was the six of wands was um, came out the third card so there's almost this so there's this um, progression towards the six of wands where it's like out in the cold and then somewhere in between they um, there's oh it's a it's a hero who's coming in okay so we have a hero. All right, tell me more about um, coming in quickly and in reverse. Okay, so there's like somebody going to come rescue or help out. Like a critical person is going to come in. There's been this call for help, and here comes um, our hero, Hierophant. So this is the Hierophant is a big spiritual leader, um, a spiritual leader of some kind. It could be like anything from the Messiah, uh, him or herself, themselves. 
to um, somebody who is just very spiritually gifted and is a teacher and um, incredibly wise and has a direct a direct relationship with God, um, full facing direct relationship with God, and this hero comes in, and so um, this might literally be that like there's like a Christ figure who comes in like rescues or helps you or sees sees what's happening in these where it's he's so vulnerable he's on crutches and they don't have shoes and they're wearing scraps of clothing it's freezing and um what's interesting is that they're outside of a church and um and you know i always feel like that kind of feels like it's um christmas time wow okay feels like it's Christmas time and they're not allowed in church of some kind or something like that, or maybe they have hope that they can go in, in, in there. Like there's somewhere that they're not, that's warmer where they are and they are not there. Um, but there's this call for help and there's this hero who comes in this surprising, in this kind of quickly moving, fast paced surprise swoops in um, somebody very benevolent comes in to help, help you. Um, so you've really been in a period of consternation, um, having long, you've just sort of been hung out to dry by a lot of people and, and locked out in the cold. It's like, nobody's really acknowledged you, you feel, um, you feel like you're a sitting duck, but there's no, like, everyone is just in full view. You know, the whole town is watching you suffer and watching the tides um, potentially come in around you and they're not, nobody's doing anything. And then even above and beyond that, you're bound and you have a, so you can't move, can't do anything, and you have... Um, no use of your eyes either because you're blindfolded it's so it's like you are the most vulnerable you can possibly be and nobody is there helping you and there's this sense that like a bunch of people put you there like everybody staked their sword into the ground and um has like you know like i was here look what we did and and it's kind of a warning for others to stay away it's like all these people have betrayed you or um, gotten kind of grouped together in this effort to just sort of hang you out to dry. And here they are, they even leave their mark all over you, they leave these swords out there just to show exactly who it was that put you there. Um, and so that is a really tough card, like I said, to, and this is where you've been in this locked out of the cold, cold energy like that. And, um, and here comes, there's really like some kind of heroic force or heroic person who's going to come in a spiritual, spiritual leader of some sort, or this could be, you know, if you, for example, if you're a Christian, you might believe in being saved. This could be literally like the Messiah coming in and you kind of having this saved moment, or, you know, it could be that God comes in, you know, God, it's a major, like as a figure in your world comes into your life, like some kind of angel or something like that. Um, we have the seven of wands and the three of wands over here. Um, the seven of wands, he's, he has control. There are a lot of forces that are, that he's, these other wands represent, um, stuff that's like coming at him, but he already knows how to conquer them. He's um, absurdly proportioned. He's like a giant on, and if, I don't know if you can tell in this card, he's sort of a giant and, but he's wielding his wand and he has way more, he has, he has it all in control, but there's still these, you know, um, forces coming at him, uh, coming at him. So it's like this hero comes in and then there's also this, um, Three of 
three of wands, which is setting out on a journey a lot of the time, um, it's like a culmination of like this preparatory cycle and it's moving out into the into the ethers to continue to follow where you're going. So um, let's see, I don't know if this is the hero or if it's you. Um, sort of, yeah, oh gosh. Ace of Wands and Five of Cups in reverse, both in reverse. This is just, So it's like this holy figure comes in and it's uh, this human, this very spiritual person comes into your life that helps you. And it's like this big surprise, like just quickly moving energy faster than you can say, um, Bob's your uncle. <laughs> um, and, but then it's like, It's like that helps you get everything under control enough to enough to be like I'm piecing out of here. I'm I'm taking my I've gotten my stuff together and I am moving out of this, moving away from this. This when we have this five of cups in reverse and the ace of wands in reverse. Um it's like mourning your losses ace of wands could be some kind of blow to a business or an idea something like that something did not go according to plan um and it's like it's like he's picking up his spilled cups and transforming them into wands and he's gonna keep moving on tell us more about this um hierophant figure here please Tell us, can we get more information on the Hierophant? No? Okay, not six cards. Thank you, not six cards. <laughs> uh, what, give me, give me like one card, something like that, like one. Three, all right, fine. Um, <laughs> okay, here we have, let's see. Emperor in reverse, justice, and um, we have the five of wands. So the five of wands is like a competition. And it's like, um, it's like I'm seeing this as like, this is the emperor, that's the strongest masculine in the deck who, it's in reverse, so it's like, somehow it all caved in or it was like this emperor's new clothes scenario where it wasn't what it crap what what he thought it was going to be um or he wasn't who he really he wasn't being who he really was and um just but justice comes in and um and uh, temperance in reverse Temperance in reverse, so that could be, um, let's see, so the jet, so there's this competition and justice comes in and it's like, we've seen that you're not being who you're, who you say you are, um, somebody who's, hasn't been who they said they were to you, um, or to themselves temperance in reverse it's balanced but like totally imbalanced um there's just this complete yeah yeah so it's like temperance in reverse just sort of makes me think about because i always think about temperance and um here it's meant to indicate like like balance and um just like this hermetic principle of trying to stabilize your pendulum, trying to get the swing to not go back and forth. So, <clears throat> um, with such magnitude, like your energy, you need to keep your energy in check and kind of not let it swing too far to one side. Um, and temperance tip, tipped over in the reverse. It's like, it's like everything is out of whack. Like the, 
pendulum is just going all over the place and the emperor in reverse is kind of it's kind of like that's what energy he was in it was like the he, the pendulum got out of whack because of this comp competitive vibe um So there's like this hero scenario that person helped launch you and so this but it's like there was a false emperor who was dethroned here Tell us more. This was clarifying the hierophant. Clarify. Um, keep give us more clar clarity about the hierophant, please. Six of Swords. So like cutting your losses here almost like that's not your cutting your losses card but this is like um going from what rough waters to calmer waters here and you're taking your what and who you love and your best and your best defenses and your you know your survival um your implements of survival and defense here and you're taking your loved ones and you're going from rough waters to calmer waters um and it kind of pairs with the temperance is, you know, about this card is about balance in the water. It shows, and, um, and it's like that we were saying, you know, this, this tur almost like little, like, turbulent, um, energy of the temperance card being in reverse. So this like out something kind of a state of being out of control, whether it's something like, like drinking or, um, some kind of addiction or, or just like a rapidly moving social life, like too many things going on, just so many, um, just something that's kind of getting out, getting out of your control, um, that keeps this emperor in the reverse. But then there's this, mo it's moving from rough waters to calmer waters, um, kind of got out of that scenario and that's, and like rows above it to turn into this hierophant kind of figure. Let me see here. We've got the Eight of Cups, we've got the Hermit, we've got the Hanged Man in reverse. Um, so the Eight of Cups is like setting out on a, like leaving, leaving something behind. Yeah, it goes along with our Six of Swords. So set, leaving something behind, um, moving on to the next phase. It could stay, symbolize like a breakup if it was a relationship, but um, it's like he's moved on from this upset here and was in this hermit energy and um, which turned sort of into this hanged man in reverse energy. Hanged man being like this state of <clears throat> getting new person, you can get new perspective by being in this, being in this momentary stasis where the energies have um, stabilized and you're kind of stuck, but at the same time you have the ability to see in a different way um, when the energies are so, <clears throat> are so stabilized just so. So it's actually can be a position of power, the hanged man, but when in reverse, it is more indicative of somebody being, um, like tortured and stuck like you know not being not you know there's not really the benefit of that extra perspective here because it's lost because they're just really like utterly stuck and um you know this is sort of a hung out to dry card the the eight of swords which can and the hangman 
went upside down. It's more like he's been hung out to dry. Um, but here I'm actually seeing this little, <laughs> I mean, intuitively. So I do intuitive, like creative channeling, which is, um, which is a way I've learned to describe uh, when you channel energy, you don't, you don't read the cards, you channel energy and the energy um, presents itself to you and I project the energy that I channel onto the cards and into the cards and um, read my own, read the energy that I am channeling myself. So it's not like the, the cards are magic, it's like the energy that we are in is, um, is a channeled energy of spirit that talks through the cards because the cards speak a language that I, um, that you learn, you know, the symbolism and everything and, and that you learn either through your life, through your experience, or you, and you learn directly about your different decks of cards, but you can also just do it intuitively. And, um, and that's kind of, I kind of do it do some of the both um <clears throat> here but so uh, which is to say which is all getting at the fact that i was going to say i feel like even though our hangman is in reverse here he's just sort of got this little twinkle in his eye attitude um like okay i'm completely stuck but but wait a minute i can get out of this um let me let's get <laughs> yeah He's like taking this time off to, um, time to kind of sharpen his tools, um, hone his skills. Um, that's the eight of pentacles. It's kind of your artisan honing his skills. Um, so it's like, <laughs> here's a story about you, but wait a minute, let's tell you the entire backstory of this amazing hero who comes in. Um, that's, uh, just, that is what is striking me as funny about this. Like this just keeps going. It's like clearly, you know, like, okay. And then the next chapter is this. And then the next chapter is that it's like, there's this teaser of the emperor in reverse that we have to get to the bottom of. Um, Cause it's not, we still haven't gotten to where it's like, okay, tell us how we got, who is this higher font? <laughs> um, like we have a little bit more of your story here of like being able to overcome and stuff, but it's like, there's not, there's not context here, but the higher font here wants to tell its whole story. Um, so, so the eight of he's owning his skills. Yep. And then he's got, he's got lots of skills, lots of things to choose from resources, everything. And he surveys his, uh, the cups at his disposal. He has mastered, he has a masterful relationship with consciousness and he can, um, <laughs> You know, magician and the two of wands in reverse. So the magician in reverse, it's the, the magician is the great alchemist and he is in reverse here. Um, and I, I think it's just sort of like this, it's kind of mirrors this hanged man and the magician being this great alchemist, but here he is kind of stuck. He's not, he's a little um, rusty. I think he's a little rusty. Um, and I, you know, I guess this is, this must be your love interest. This is a hierophant. This is all, all this to say this hero is not going to just be some hero. It is your love interest who wants you to know all about this backstory um, and how great he is, but he's just a little rusty. And, um, and there's a two of wands in reverse. So he's still trying to get up his gumption to come to for come forward to you. Um, this is an amusing reading because it is like a, a, a fast one. It's like he's shy, shy. So he didn't come out as like anything. It's like, I'm not going to, you might not be interested in my whole story, but then it's like, okay, make me and I'll tell you tell you all about my tragic tale the chariot yeah um okay I'll end it here the chariot is is a good I've been having a chariot theme the past few days the chariot is like an inner in 
incoming charge of um, news and some big change, some big news. So I think this is like the incoming charge of here he comes to, um, you know, you've been in this, this um, kind of energy stuck, um, hung out to dry, locked out in the cold. And um, you have somebody who has been through a lot who's coming in to, um, who's been preparing and has identified you and, and the temperance card, by the way, is also, I didn't, what I didn't say is that it's also the twin flame card. So this being a divine feminine um, reading, it is sort of a, this could be, see, there's like this wink here. It could be a wink at like, this could be a twin flame, um, which is not an abusive relationship. I do not, that's not what I'm talking about. It's an energetic profile. Um, so the chariot coming in, um, here he comes. Here he just, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. I'm so excited for you. Um, I, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this reading and um, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, this is Alice with the Witch in the Glen. I'm a baby channel, so it would really mean a lot to me if you would subscribe and like my video and come back for more. Thank you.